I'm Richard Roper, and coming up next, I watch them so you don't have to. It's the worst of the worst of the worst movies of 2012 right now. 2012 was such a good year for movies, even the dreck wasn't quite as dreadfully dreadful as it's been in some previous years. But don't get me wrong, there was still enough cinematic garbage to fill a landfill. You know who I am, right? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> You're my doctor. At number 10, The Vow. Very loosely inspired by a true story, this is the laughably stupid story of a car crash that transforms Rachel McAdams from a loving artist into a spoiled princess. Halfway through the movie, I was rooting for another snow plow to come by, or maybe a tank. Robert De Niro gives one of the cheesiest performances of his career in Red Lights. The ninth worst movie of the year is the least scary, scary movie I've seen in a long time. There's only one way gaining access to the truth. At number eight, Bachelorette. This is Bridesmaids Gone Wrong. Crude, rude, and lewd. Nothing like a movie where you pretty much despise every character. We're having ice cream in our suite after the rehearsal dinner. And then we're gonna party, right? Like, ah, like, mm, like, mm. oh, yeah, it's just that I'm not a big partier anymore. Clocking in at number seven, you've probably already forgotten the Dolly Parton Queen Latifah dud joyful noise. Lucky you, my ears are still ringing. You are so convinced your way is the only way there is. Infallible, untouchable, unlovable, the rule here. Quit it with those nails, Edward Scissorhands. Who's the new soccer coach? Stacy's ex, the soccer player. At number six, soccer moms are reduced to horny caricatures and the astoundingly charmless playing for keeps. Also, this movie knows less about TV sports casting than any film, including all the movies that don't talk about TV sports casting. Look at him and listen to me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at him and understand me. Look at both of us, but understand no one. We continue the countdown with the aggressively dopey non-comedy, The Watch. The plot about a volunteer neighborhood watch team battling an alien invasion sounds like something out of one of those brilliant fake trailers that Ben Stiller does. Unfortunately, this was a real movie. <laughs> Hit me in that nose with a golf club? I didn't think it would hurt that bad. Alex, what do you want? I want my money. That's it, bro. Well, you got it. At number four, the mean-spirited action comedy hit and run. It's a wonder Dax Shepard and Kristen Bell are still together after this disaster. And if you're Bradley Cooper, how much does it cost to have this erased from your IMDb page? That's disgusting! But wait, it gets worse. Listen to me carefully, Kim. Your mother is going to be taken. Few action sequels have been as unintentionally hilarious as Taken 2. How did Liam Neeson keep a straight face while making this f***ing piece of I mean, it was just a steaming pile of You did her. Besides the fact, if I got in the picture, wouldn't even be fair. I'm sorry, what does that mean? I think we should lay down some ground rules. I think we should. At number two, one of the creepier mainstream films in recent years, This Means War. Dueling pervert secret agents compete for the affections of a scheming two-timer. What a great idea! And yet we saw an even creepier story in the absolute worst movie of 2012, That's My Boy. The fact that this has resulted in a pregnancy leaves me no choice but to levy the maximum penalty. Take care of our baby, Donnie! Dumbass. Let's take female teacher, male juvenile, criminal sexual molestation and use it as the launching point for a comedy! Idiotic, offensive, and tone deaf. At this point, I'm starting to wonder if Adam Sandler is deliberately trying to put together a string of the worst comedies ever. If so, he's a genius. Add up the running times of those movies, and that's about 17 hours of my life I'm never getting back. The things I do for you people. I'm Richard Roper, and you can get all my reviews from A-plus to F-F-F-F-F-minus on richardroper.com and on Reels. <laughs>